Hi, my name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is what happens during a solar and lunar eclipse. Now, what is an eclipse? An eclipse is when one body blocks the other one, so another name for it is an occultation. So let's talk about the solar eclipse first. So the first solar eclipse is, let's say you have the sun right here at the center, and then you have the orbit for the Earth, and we have the moon floating around us. Now, solar means that the sun is the one being blocked. So something has to come between the earth and the sun, and that's the moon. So the position here is when the moon is at this point of the orbit and is blocking the sun. And generally what you see is, let's say this is the light of the sun, you'll see a dark circle in the sun. Sometimes it will cover it entirely and that's called a full solar eclipse. Sometimes it's partially covered and that's a partial solar eclipse. Okay, so this is the solar eclipse. Now let's talk about the lunar eclipse. And where do the bodies have to be in order to block the moon? So if we have the sun here and we have the earth, how can we block the moon? So the sun is never going to be between the earth and the moon but the Earth can block the, sh the light from the Sun. So in this case, you have the Moon right here and the Earth over here. And what you would actually see, let's say if this was the Moon, you will see the shadow of the, the Earth being casted on the Moon. So the, so the Moon will get significantly darker as that shadow sweeps along. And this is called a lunar eclipse. So these are the differences between a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. It really is just a position of the bodies and what's being hidden or what's being blocked. My name is Eileen Perez, and this is what happens during a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse.